Hi, this is Mike Hendrickson from Strata Hadoop World in New York. I'm with Rod Bodkin. Rod, how you doing? Great, how are you? Good. So you're the president and founder of Think Big? Yeah, that's right. So well, think We all hope we think big, so what do you do when you think big? So um, Think Big, we are a pure play uh, Hadoop services firm and big data more generally. So we started the company back in 2010, a little over five years ago, always at the mission of helping com customers get real value from big data, Hadoop, NoSQL, search, and related technologies. Okay, so think big. So you're thinking of big problems that someone wants to solve using data. That's right. And your tool is going to help them do that? So what we, our, our platform? Our, our, so first and foremost, we're a solutions company. We help customers, whether it be around putting the right roadmap and architecture together, okay. building a data lake, doing data science or descriptive analytics on the data or managed services. So we offer end-to-end -end services. We build on top of the best open source and commercial technology available in the market. Uh, we also have some of our own components that come from our experience, value add ways of doing things like how do you handle large scale ingestion of feeds and govern it in Hadoop. So it complements a lot of what's in open source. And we were acquired by Teradata a year ago, but we remain focused on helping the customer. We're not incented or motivated to sell Teradata products and we continue to work with the open source stack. But you integrate in with the Teradata platforms and, and solutions, I would imagine. Sometimes, you know, Sometimes. we have maybe 40% of our customers use Teradata as a data warehouse and 60% use something else. Okay, so what is the, the most common challenge that you see with your customers nowadays? That What are they struggling with the most? I think a big thing, has been a big realization that uh, customers now accept there's a lot of value and they're struggling with how can we build a data lake where we have a rich variety of data that we can be confident in, right? It's this balance of you don't want to have all the curation and governance of the classic warehouse and it takes too long, it's too slow, but at the same time you also don't want to have the Wild West where you don't know if the data is all correct and you, you don't know if it's secured. So getting something that's an industrial scale, well-governed, trusted set of data that really enables analytics on your big data. That's the big challenge most of our customers are, we're helping them with and, and they're okay. working Okay, so on. let me ask you then, what are your challenges? As, as a, a data services type company, what, what is your biggest challenge? Well, I think one, one of the big challenges we face is that still, there's a lot of education in the market, a lot of customers. Um, th there's, there's so many people in the last couple of years have entered the market and say, hey, we're going to offer the kind of services that we do at Think Big. And you know, they don't have the, the skills and credentials uh, we, we see a lot of failures when they execute, but customers often can't distinguish, right? It's the problem of how can you tell if you're hiring a good doctor, right? You're not the expert, you're hoping that all the doctors are good, and it turns out that in this market there's not a lot of good doctors, right? So that's our, probably our biggest challenge is, is helping customers see the differentiation in our depth and skills versus a lot of the other approaches from services firms. So how did you land on Think Big? I, I'm, I'm, I'm curious about the, the whole concept. Uh, is it so your customers can think big and, and do great things? Or yeah, I mean, it's, so our, our name was Think Big Analytics, and we shortened it because it was just a little bit of a mouthful, um, but it's still about analytics, right? So it's about thinking big in terms of using all these new data sources, right? Sensors and click streams and geolocation and social, and being able to think big about how you can apply all this new data to improve your business, to drive outcomes, to build machine learned models. Right, so it's Think Big Analytics is very much about helping our customers. You know, we used to have a tagline, um, uh, think big, uh, start sm uh, small, uh, scale fast. Or, yeah. yeah, start small, scale fast, yeah, yeah. okay. So with, with Think Big, are there any industries that you think are, are more um, adept at thinking big right now and, and, and trying to tackle big, hairy problems? and? Absolutely. By the way, I, I realized that it wasn't smart, small. It was smart, start smart. I, I knew I had some, I had a mental block on that one. Start smart and scale? Scale fast. Scale Think fast. big, start smart, scale fast. That was okay. it. But anyway, um, yeah, so industries. Yeah. We've seen uh, a lot of traction in, in a few industries. One has been high-tech manufacturing. And that was one that I think that surprised me a bit. I mean, I, I, before starting Think Big, I was VP Engineering at a company, Quantcast, that's early in ad tech, but look-alike models, you know, I led the data science and engineering teams there. Um, but 
I didn't realize how much demand there would be, how much interest in applying big data techniques around device data, sensor data, IOT data, right? So we've done a lot of work over the years with yep. big high-tech manufacturers, and you know, one of the reasons why I think it's been so successful is that the engineers in those companies are technically adept, and so they can work with a lot of the tooling, even though it's not as refined and polished yet, right? So we've had a lot of success really changing the way companies manufacture and improve their yields and move to proactive analytics around better customer service. We've also done a lot of work in financial services. You know, in addition to banks and capital markets, we're seeing insurance. We're doing a lot of work in different parts of insurance, whether it's vehicle telematics or whether it's healthcare claims or consumer interactions, call center data. Um, and you know, we continue to do a lot of work in media and online. Right? So those are probably the three biggest areas for us. Okay, so if you fast forward, uh, 12 months from now, and we have this conversation next year here. Yep. What would you like to say Think Big will do during that 12 months that's different than what you're doing now? Well, a big thing to focus for us is we've now done so much repeatability in certain of the solution areas that we're, we're doing more to package up frameworks on top. This year we put a lot of emphasis on package of being in repeatability around how to build data lakes, and we're making a lot of progress on making it a lot faster, easier, lower risk for customers based on that, and we want to do the same thing, we're planning to do the same thing, for example, around the manufacturing solutions. We've started to break out, so beyond high-tech manufacturing, we're now working with companies like a large medical device manufacturer that have a lot of similar challenges around being able to integrate all the data from the devices they have out there in hospitals, care facilities, to improve patient outcomes, right? So we're seeing, um, that, that need, the Internet of Things, manufacturing data um, becoming a more and more important area. So that's one we're really excited about, as well as some of the work we've been doing around consumer data, you know, being able to do personalization and attribution for ads and deep insights into consumer behavior. Excellent. Well, Rod, we look forward to that conversation next year. All right, thank, thank you, Mike.